Today, I'm going to turn this dowel into three topwater lures. Then I'm going to go out later this evening and use them to catch some bass. I have a few hours to kill before I can get out on the water tonight. So I'm going to take this wood, my whittling stuff, some paint, some hooks, some rattly bell type things, my googly eyes, and try to make three topwater baits. My goal is to get them carved, assembled, painted, and dried before I hit the water, and then use them tonight to catch fish. And we're out on the water. It's me and Tommy and Noe. And I think I said I was gonna make three top water lures, but I only got two. I only had time to make two. So here's this one and then this guy here. So I'm gonna start using those and see if I could get a bass. And we're off the water. How long did we last? Five minutes and the storm came in? <laughs> oh my God. All right. so. Got the lures made, made it onto the water, took two casts, had to buzz back in, and we are soaked. This one's gonna be the popper. One of those old style poppers your grandfather used to have. So the nose, and then I'll kind of carve this ring, make it a little bit convex, make a little cup out of it. And then I'll carve the rear here just into a nice, you know, tapered shape, uh, paint it up and see what we can get on this guy tonight. I finished up the popper and I hit it with some primer. So while it's over there drying, I'm gonna get started on lure number two. I sharpened up my knife and this, I'm just gonna carve up a quick cigar shape and make this like a top water floater. And then uh, I have a little surprise I'm gonna put in there though. I have no idea if it'll work, but we'll find out tonight. I drilled a nice big cavity so that these little Christmas bell, jingle bell type things would have a lot of space to roll around in there. So I'm going to just put a handful of these things in there. Not even a handful, just two or three. I think, I'll, I, think I can fit three. The next step is to take some tin from a Coke can and cut two little ovals and uh, line the hole. So at the bottom of this drill hole that I made, I'm going to put some tin and then I'm going to put some tin across the top before I put my wood putty. That'll give these metal uh, bells something to clank against. It'll make a nice rattling noise. There's what it looks like when I get it all plugged up. You don't have to worry about making it pretty because I'm gonna actually go over that with wood putty, sand it down, and hit it with some primer before I paint it. I got the popper painted up nice, and I actually discovered something that's gonna be helpful. The first coat of paint that I put on the popper, the acrylic paint that I put over the spray paint, didn't really want to stick to the spray paint. So I had to put a few coats, let it dry, another coat, let it dry. So I experimented putting it directly to raw wood and that actually worked better. So for the other top water, I'm not going to have to hit it with any primer or any spray paint or anything like that. I'm going to paint directly on the wood, which is good because I got an hour and 15 minutes left to get that painted, get these things dried, get some hooks on here and get on the road. Well, I took it down to the wire. It's 10 to three. My wife gets out of her class at three. She'll be here at 3.15. The idea was we were gonna just get in the truck and go. Maybe we're not gonna be able to go till about 3.30. But the popper's done. I'm actually happy with it. I like the way the paint job came out and I'm looking forward to using it tonight. The cigar lure is, uh, I just sprayed it down. I have to let it dry and put the rest of the hooks on it. But the little surprise twist I told you about is I took one of these little spring 
uh, spring rods off of a worm hook and uh, I'm going to use a twisty tail like a grub or something and put it, you know, kind of screw it onto the back of that. So as this thing's going through the water, there'll be a tail in the back. Uh, and then I got the, the bells in the middle making a rattling noise. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm.